venait sortir de son cœur. Je te donnais mon cœur, et maintenant c'est le cœur. Je vous fais baisser jusqu'au bout de le cœur. Quand je mon mannequin, mon mannequin, mon mannequin. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Coucou tout le monde, bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So today's video is a story time, okay? I always wanted to tell this story time, but I was very hesitant because you know, if you hang out around me and you are, or you used to hang out around me when I was like, um, in my teen years, okay, then you may know who this person is. And if you do, please don't drop any names at the comment section or hit me up talking about some way talking about this because I'm not going to tell you guys who I was talking about. Like, if you know the person because you have been around me or you went to school with me, you know, just let's just laugh and inside and not talk about it okay that'll be better for everybody but first before i get started with this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to follow me on my stream the platform that's instagram today and snapchat at just learn love it will be listed down below and also somewhere here on the screen for your convenience and yeah let's get started so this video is long overdue because i haven't been friends with the girl for since I started college, yeah, since I graduated from high school, hmm, been a while now. So, yeah, like you guys can tell by the title, she left me for a man. Very dumb, mind you, it's a friendship that, you know, I have cherished a lot. And it was a girl that I um, saw as my sister. Um, I did a lot of things that I have never done to anybody as far as like caring. Um, but yeah, but once she met this person, this guy, um, everything just went left. So let me get into the story. So it started like after I had graduated high school, the summer after I graduated high school, mind you, I graduated on the 11th grade and she was going to graduate on the 12th grade. So I'm just like, you know, even though we're no longer in school, we can stay best friends. Like we've been best friends since seventh grade because she came to america when she was in seventh grade i believe and i was that you know like they give you a student that you will follow when you're new to the country or new to the school um so that was that i was that that person she had to you know follow around follow me to my classes and i had to show her things around the school so i was that person so from there that's how we developed a friendship because we were both from the same country and so on and so forth you guys already know the jazz so yeah we became real friend like real close friends we became best friends at that and you know i even asked her to prom and you know all that good stuff you know i had people make a huge poster for me to ask her to prom it used to be on my instagram but i think i took it down after i stopped being friends with her so like i i really treated this girl like so well mind you i don't think she really cared as i did and this happened in most of my friendships anyways because I always feel like I give more than anybody else. I'm not saying that in a friendship is supposed to be like a give and take thing. But I feel like if you know that this friend cares that much, try to be at her level or at least closer to her. You know, don't just sh don't, don't make me feel like I don't really matter. Then that's when things will not run smoothly technically. So yeah, um, after I graduated from high school, it was over the summer, I started feeling her distance. Like... I used to text her, you know, and she used to always tell me she was busy. I used to be like, okay, let's hang out, you know, because I, I used to work, she didn't, so I used to be like, okay, let's go get our nails and I'm paying for both. Let's go get our eyebrows and I'm paying for both. Like, that's how our friendship was. I was always like, you know, paying for her, you know, for her. I was like, let's go grab some something to eat, something to eat and I'll pay for both of us. So, it was always like that with us. So, um, after this, I graduated from high school the summer. Um, after I graduated from high school, I started feeling her getting distant and I went to a house party at their house that summer and there was a guy, hmm, let's name, let's name him, let's, let's name him Lane. No shade, nothing. Let's name him Lane, okay? Lane, because what he did is some lame, a, I don't want to curse, okay? Okay, so what he did is some lame, lame stuff, okay? So we're just gonna call him Lane, and we're gonna call her Angie. Angie, okay. So I went to a house party at Angie's house, which is my best friend, obviously, um, at the time. Um, and after that, her 
Angie's sister had to drive me home because at that time I didn't have a car. She had to drive me home. Mind you, as she's driving me home, she's also driving Lame home because Lame was the DJ at the party. Damn, I feel like y'all will know who it is. I'm giving so much. Ugh. Anyways, I don't care. I'm not saying anybody's name, so I'm cool. So, um, she had to drive Lame home as well. So, Lame and I were in the car together. I believe I got dropped off first or Lame, I don't remember who got dropped off first, but then, no, Lame got dropped off first because he had his things for DJing, for playing music. So Lame got dropped off first and Lame got off the, got out of the car. Mind you, Lame was already trying to like talk to me. So he asked me for my social media in the car and I just added myself on his, I think it was Facebook. I think it was on Facebook because Facebook was popping back then. So I added myself on his Facebook. So... When he went home, he texted me through my Facebook. I saw it and I answered him through Facebook. So we started talking on, on Facebook. Mind you, I wasn't really feeling. I was feel, I wasn't feeling lame. Why? Because I just wasn't like he just at a party like he was just dancing with any and everybody and all that stuff. So I wasn't really feeling lame. But then I was entertaining him at the same time. So you know what? You don't feel somebody, but you would text the person. That's what was going on with lame and I. So um, mind you, lame. And my and, and and Angie's family, like her sisters, because it was only a girl's house and like one then two boys in the household, and we was like how many girls? Three or four girls, because they had one friend that lived with them, so it was four girls at that time. Um, four girls and two men, so I would call it like the girls' house because it was a lot of girls in the house. So he was close to all the girls in the in in Angie's house. Okay, so. They used to chat together, you know, talk all night together, and I didn't know all these things until this one day, Angie's sister hit me up talking about some we need to talk. I'm like, mind you, Lem and I was still like talking, I was entertaining him, I was not there, like, I would have never like kissed none of that stuff, never, never, and never, like, we have never kissed or anything like that. I never think we won on a date, we never won on a date. Like, besides seeing each other at parties, we never seen each other any place else. And I used to party like crazy back then. So I used to see him, but at parties, that was it. So, and nothing would happen besides dance, like. So, Angie's sister told me she wanted to talk to me. So I said, okay, cool, you know, I, I was leaving work that day. I said, I, I get, I'll get home and I'll, you know, hit you guys up and, you know, we'll see what's, what's going on. Because I didn't know what was going on. She didn't want to tell me over the, over the text message. So, I call. The sister's phone and the friend that lives there picks up i'm like oh yes hi and then she's like yes hi we need to talk to you so i'm sitting here like oh wow so they had a little like gathering to talk to me so i'm like dang what did i do this time mind you she passes the phone over to the sister that texted me that was calling the phone you know the girl that actually has the phone so she's like um so lame told us that you trying to go smack at him I was like, whoa, Lame said what? So she said, Lame said you're trying to go smack at him. And I said, first of all, like, Lame, I, I don't feel Lame. I'm not feeling Lame. And Lame, she was like, you saw, you met him at our party. And now you got his Facebook and all those stuff. And now he said you have been harassing him. I said, harassing how? Like, this is how they came at me, mind you. I'm the only one on my end because my sister wasn't around. And it's four girls on the phone. But... Angie is not saying anything, mind you. All three of them are talking, but Angie is not saying anything. But she's there. Because she told me, they told me that we are all here. So she's there. She's not saying anything. So they are the one defending her talking. So I'm like, oh, that's not true. Let's put Lame on the phone. So we decide to call Lame and put Lame on the phone. And Lame had the audacity to say, yes, just when you have been harassing me and forcing me to date you. I say, mother of God, what? Like, the way I was confused, guys, like, the way I was confused, I was super confused, like, super confused. I was very confused. I said, what? He said, yes. Like, mind you not, it's a three-way call, because down the corner, I'm on my end, and he's on his end. He said, why are you lying? He started getting all big and bad on the phone. I'm like, oh, whoa. Like, you know, like, you can tell. He was just trying to make me not talk because every time I would say something, he's like, oh, you lying. Why are you lying? Oh, you know, you tried it. Oh, I have the text message. I said, please pull out the text message. He said, I have proofs. Apparently, he sent the text message of when I was entertaining him, not putting what he said, but just what I said. And me, at that time, like, I used to erase my messages, so I didn't really have... 
because from Facebook we moved into changing numbers, so now we were texting on messages. So I used to erase my messages. I didn't really used to keep messages like that because I did not have much space. I used to have a small Samsung. I did not really have any space in there like that. So I used to always erase my messages or my pictures. So I'm like, yeah, I have some screenshots, but they're not from that far up when we started talking, talking. So I'm like. I will give you guys the screenshot of what I, I have. So I'm sending them the screenshot that like, but we see that he's trying to talk to you, but it's because he said at the beginning you have at the beginning you were harassing him. I said, Oh, so now I'm I'm being accused for harassing him. So those I'm like, oh my gosh, like first of all, why are you guys even questioning me about this guy? Like, what's the deal? They were like, because Lame and Angie are talking and you knew that. I said, Oh no, 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 no. So now Liam and Angie are talking. Mind you, Angie, you're supposed to be my best friend. You're not telling me you're talking to him. When I'm literally opening up and telling her everything. When I say everything, I mean everything about me, Angie knew. So I'm like, so what, what is going on? I'm asking them to give her the phone to talk. She's like, she doesn't want to talk. So now they were just talking for her and all the stuff. So they told Liam, okay, Liam, that's good. We heard your side of the story. And yeah, we see that she was harassing you and we want to fix this and make everything straight for, 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 for future references. So next time she won't be bothering you. And he's like, block my number, man, this is lame. Block my number, remove me from everywhere. You know, you're such a liar. You were harassing me. I didn't know what to do. That's when I went and I talked to them because I'm talking to your best friend and you are harassing me. I'm like, you're talking to my best friend that I did not even know at the first time that you were talking to. And you are accusing me for harassing you, and I started crying because we when I'm angry and there's nothing I can do, you're not allowed for me to, to, you know. I just start crying. I started crying. They were like, "Oh yeah, you're crying because you know what you did is wrong. Just apologize." I'm like, "I'm not gonna apologize for what." So, um, I told them everything lame because lame used to talk mad crap about them. Oh man, I blew it all out. I said everything. I said, Lim told me about this. He told me about this day he came to your house. Yeah, I did this. He told me about this. So they're like, oh, Lim, Lim, because he wanted to get on the phone. They're like, oh, Lim, Lim, hold on. So how does she know that if he didn't tell her? Lim is like, well, she's not telling the truth. Uh, I told her I went to your place. I never told her what really happened. They're like, but how does she know this this happened? And then he's like, oh, well, um, maybe I accidentally told her. So now, Lim is seen as a liar, but they're still accusing me, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I started telling literally like blowing every detail of everything Lim has told me about them and what they did together or anything like that. Everything was just coming out because I was crying. I was angry. I had to get that out. So I was just talking, talking, talking. And then they're like, Lim, oh, we are very disappointed. Oh, we are really mad at you. She, and then Lim was like, why are you guys mad at me? I came at you guys because I care for your sister and all this stuff. But now you guys want to get mad at me. All right, then. All right. Now you guys do those B, mm, those B. A boys like that's like I don't want to mm, I'm getting back to that day again I'm getting angry so I was like wow like y'all really gonna believe me and I'm calling him like Angie Angie are you gonna believe him or I like Angie what's good like Angie talk to me like Angie what's going on and then Angie's just quiet so they finally told Angie they said Angie come on say something we about to get off the phone with this girl they were calling me this girl now so we about to get off the phone with this girl so she's like First of all, um, I just want to tell you that I don't, I'm not, I don't think um, what you did is right. I don't, I'm not going to say I believe you or I believe him, but what you said wasn't right. Um, what you did wasn't right. I said, what did I do? She's like talking to a guy that I'm talking to. I'm like, you never told me you were talking to him, did you? And she's like, well, I didn't, but that doesn't mean anything because you met him over my house. I'm like, well, meeting a man over your house party doesn't mean that I cannot talk to him. And first of all, I don't care for lame. I was just entertaining Lim because I was bored. Like, <laughs> nothing happened. And then she was like, um, Lim was like, oh, by the way, your best friend Angie said that she's not with that best friend-ish no more. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really, Angie? Like, you really said that you're not with that best friend-ish no more? She's like, well, you, are, you have graduated already. I have one more year to go. And we're not in the same school anymore. And we're not going to be able to see each other as we used to. So I don't think this best friend-ish can work. So I'm like, oh, wow. Like, so, but I have to hear this from someone else's mouth, which means you have really been talking about me now. So 
I'm like, oh, wow, Angel, I'm really, really disappointed. So now Lame is like, I'm sorry. Lame is apologizing to them. He's like, I'm sorry, Angie and your sister. So I'm sorry for, you know, disrespecting you guys or telling certain things to just send that I shouldn't have. But now I have to get off the phone. If anything, you guys can always call me, but I was doing something and stuff like that. So they were like, okay, we forgive you. And he got off the phone. And the phone got hung up. The girl, the friend that used to live at the house now takes the phone and, she, and she's like, well, just man, you are wrong for that. And all the stuff and you hurt angie that bf that best friend ish is over so you know you can stop you know calling her your best friend and stuff like that so i'm like okay like okay just because a man told you i did something you're never gonna wonder if it's true or not and you're just gonna go ahead and believe him okay so i was angry so i'm like okay first of all can i hear angie tell me this on by herself like can you not talk for her let her tell me this so they're giving the phone to angie and then angie's like yeah i did say that that best friend ish is not gonna work what's the problem and i'm like no problem i just wanted to make sure you actually said that because obviously they have been talking for you when you have a mouth you know how to talk and i know you you can talk so I want you to tell me everything. She's like, yeah, that best friend ish is not going to work. And now you know. So now you can leave him alone. I'm like, oh. <laughs> now I know now I can leave him alone. Now I know now I can leave him alone. Someone I never held. Someone I never did anything with. Someone I don't care for. Now I can leave him alone. Okay. So I was like, you know what, Angie, I'm very hurt and because I was crying still. I was like, I'm really hurt and that's okay. Like, I respect what you want. I'm going to leave everybody alone. I'm going to leave Liam alone. I'm going to leave you alone. You know, just know my phone number. You know my phone number. I'm always available. You know my 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 Instagram, my, my, my Facebook. You can always hit me up if you need anything. I'm always there for you. But, you know, I think it's time that, you know, like you said, that I leave you guys alone. So I'm going to do just that. So now I go on Facebook, you know, I see that Lim has unfollowed me on, on, yeah, unfollowed me technically on Facebook. So I'm like, okay, like I didn't even care for Lim anyway. So, but then a couple of days later, I check my best friend's Facebook and she, I see that she has unfollowed me as well. So I'm like, hmm, I go on Instagram. She also unfollowed me there. I'm like, whoa, so this problem wasn't just small. I tried calling her phone number because she used to use an iPod for a phone back then. Like, um, she had, a, you know, those, like, numbers that you can make to iPods. I called her on there, and she was not picking up my phone calls. I texted her. She was like, you know, that best friend ish is over, so why do I keep trying to contact her? I said, oh, wow, I thought that was best friend ish over, not, like, like, whole friendship over. And then she was like, no, nah, that, like, we are not in different levels, so... It's, it doesn't matter we can be friends and I should leave her relationship alone she was talking about her and Lane because apparently Lim told her that he's scared that I will you know try to attack him or try to you know slide in his DMs to like technically um what's the word for it technically to ah what is it I forgot the name trying to confront him and you know all that stuff or blackmail him that's what she said. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Me and him anymore. And I see that you took, you also removed me. She's like, yeah, it's best for us to like go our separate ways. And I'm like, it's best for who? For you or for both of us? She's like, for both of us and for my relationship. I'm like, so are you guys dating or you are talking? She's like, we are talking, but we are about to start dating soon. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I guess you're choosing a man over me. She's like, I can't answer that, but I just told you what it is. And I can't, I, like, mind you, it's through text. She's like, I just told you what it is, and, you know, now you can stop texting me now. I was like, wow. Hmm. I was very shocked. I said, whoa. Like, thinking about it again, I can't believe it. I'm like, wow. Okay. I got you. Like, to this day. Like, I remember after that happened, that was summer 2014. And um, that New Year's, I hit her up. I said, Happy New Year. You know, I want us to put everything in the past and try to work our friendship up again. And she denied it. She said she wasn't interested. She said, um, Happy New Year's to me too, but it's best the way it is. And then, I, mind you, after the problem happened, a couple months later, I heard that her and Liam are not together anymore. So I was like, <laughs> <"Karma."> <laughs> That's what you get. 
So yeah, because I started going, you know, I was I graduated, so I went to college, and my college, Lynn was in that college, Jordan was in that college, Jordan and Lynn were friends. Mm, yeah, so you guys see how God does things. So I went to the same school with Lim and obviously Jordan and Lim were friends so eventually I was going to start talking to Lim again so I started being cool, not friends, cool with Lim and they saw that because sometimes you know I would hang out with Jordan Lim and 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 you know all three of us would hang out sometimes grab some something to eat and stuff like that and it's through that that I found out that Lame told me himself that I'm not to get anymore. That after the whole situation happened, and mind you, Lame did apologize because I told Jordan about it because I started, I was dating Jordan already when school started. Like I told you guys, I met Jordan the first month of my college, you know, year. The first month I met him and we started dating, so I was already dating Jordan. I told Jordan what happened. Jordan talked to Lame, and Lame ended up apologizing. We started following each other again on social media, and the girl saw that obviously, and. Lame, I talk, I talked to Lame, and he told me himself. He said they're no longer together. That after that big confrontation on the phone, like they broke up like three or four months later. So that's what she gets. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this story. That's the end of the story. More of the story. Don't trust anybody. If there's somebody you trust, you know, be very careful. If you guys are really gonna share everything together, make sure you share everything together. If someone is gonna be hiding stuff, make sure you also hide stuff because nowadays friendships are crazy, toxic, terrible, like trash. Friendship just gotta go, you know. Especially among females, you just gotta go. And yes, guys, that's the time my best friend. That she's no longer my best friend, so I will quote it. My best friend left me for a man that she didn't even last week. Uh, yes, you know. T. Yes, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it's your first time checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social media platform. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, where I actually share a lot of my day-to-day -day activities and daily life. You know what I do every day on there. And yes, guys. If you guys want more story times, make sure you let me know down below because I have a lot of story time to tell. But I'm now getting more comfortable telling story times because at first I wasn't because a lot of people around me know the people in my story times. But now I'm like, you know, it's life, effort. I just got to say what I got to say and tell the truth. Speak my truth and tell the world so you guys know what to do if you're ever in that situation. That's the reason why right now I don't think I'll ever have a best friend. Jordan is my best friend and... I have girlfriends, you know, girl as friends, and close friends, but calling somebody your best friend, mm, I don't think I can do that again. I don't think, maybe, maybe it will change one day, but for now, Jordan is my only best friend. Okay? So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys. Au revoir, tout le monde.